serious lab, never far. I said of the APEC with a, with a few people coming, this turnout's great, it's absolutely amazing. So thank you for coming and believing in the day. Thanks to Bitru for offering sponsorship and increasing the awareness. Thanks to Samantha, if she's here yet, I'm not too sure, but she give a little help for the buffet and that, that we'll all be enjoying later on, so thanks. And basically just thanks to anyone who's been involved, anyone who's helped out, anyone who's offered help if they didn't even need it. Really, really do appreciate it, and I'd say it's a world to them. So thank you. Gonna start off, basically, I'm just gonna, just gonna fly over some slides and that to talk about the internet and everything which in my opinion is what the next generation will just see the internet as. At the moment we're talking about an internet of data, an internet of things, an internet of value, all these different internets. You, they will not be segregated in the future. The next generation of humans are just going to see it as the internet, the trifecta of both value and data. First and foremost, how we got into crypto. So, about three years ago now, I started watching a guy called Gary V online, or whatever I used to watch him. He basically just helps people chase their passions on Instagram, YouTube, or wherever they want to. So, we started some channel with Love For. It was all based around Love For. We were Love For Animals. So we started that online on Instagram. We did Love For Knockouts. Then we did Love For Life Hacks. But then Paisy started growing quite well. I started Love For Limited, a company next to it, to be to be a, basically a media agency, so after we paved the way on our passion, we could help other people do the same. That seemed to be going okay, and I was passionate about it, and I was enjoying doing it. Next thing, I get a phone call off Kurt. Check out this XRP, it's a crypto currency. So like I'm assuming most of you did over the years, you just shunned that Bitcoin thing, that Bitcoin thing, that blockchain, it's all just a load of talk, it's all a load of BS, don't really want anything to do with it. He's adamant, he's like, no, just look at XRP, go and look at it, go and see what it is, tell me what you think. But we had a look, and literally within 60 minutes, I just saw the free five day pen payment from about four seconds. That's all we needed. I don't understand how the rest of the world can't see that. It's as simple as that for me. And that's your email of the internet of value. That is phase one. There's people talking about that's the end of it. It's the very, very start. It's like we're in the late 80s, early 90s of a new kind of internet that's paving the way to go. I'm gonna show you in the slides, it's being built exactly the same way as the internet was back in the day, but just with different terminology. Long story short, I was, yeah, all over XRP, we're in that. So it took us a week to figure out how to buy it. It was 17 cents at first, ended up 23. By the time we got in, in about half 90, we got a little, little bit cheaper. But yeah, we was in it, was all over it, and we changed. Ditched them Instagram love for life hacks, animals, and knockouts. We started love for crypto on Instagram and YouTube. Which, which funnily enough, we changed the company name to Love for Crypto Limited. And no one had built a bank account because we had crypto in our name. So we couldn't get a bank account. I won't give you the bank account, you got crypto in your name. I'm like, what? That's how bad it was. That's like late 2017. I'm thinking, what the hell? So we had to change it back to Love for Limited. In the end, it's kind of been a blessing in disguise because that vision is still there for me now. I can put anything after them words. Look for comics, look for movies, look for gardening. It, it can branch into absolutely any brand you want it to. The next one, of course, <coughs> look for media, where we can run some podcasts on a separate channel. But that's a conversation for another time. Basically, it changed our lives getting into XRP. I'm sure a lot of you, many of you, it's already changed your lives. And if our hopes are right, which, if we believe the documents and the information that we've been seeing, it's just a matter of time before it all comes to fruition. So, without further ado, I'll start talking about it. 